Okay, today I want to talk about uh, setting up what's called a DLNA media server uh, on your homeland so that you can access multimedia files across multimedia devices, uh, in my case a smart TV and other things, um, and share those files across the LAN. And it's, it's a neat process. Uh, I can set that up, and I have set that up uh, on my home router. And I'm going to show you how it can be set up uh, on an Asus RTN66U router. First of all, I've got a personal cloud uh, out there, so an external hard drive running on my router, uh, hanging on the router, and it's an, called an AI cloud. If I click on, I'm on the Chromium web browser right now, so I can access the interface on that personal cloud through my browser. If I click on the AI cloud and select the AI cloud terabyte, it brings up the login interface. So I'm going to log in to uh, the personal cloud. All right, and show you what it is I want to do. Uh, here is the terabyte storage device. If I click on it, it brings up uh, the various files and folders uh, in my personal cloud. There's quite a bit of stuff out there. Uh, and this is a total one terabyte cloud that I have. All right, so what I want to do is I've already got uh, a share set up to this cloud disk storage, but want to set up another one temporarily here for the iTunes Media, which contains a ton of my music, uh, and be able to play that on a smart television. All right, so what I want to do here is click on another tab and go out to the router access, and click on the Asus router login. So I need to log into that. And I'm logging into the router now, the router's interface. And um, what I want to do is click on this USB application and click on the servers center. All right, and I've already uh, installed a media center, or media server rather, uh, interface in here. And I've gone ahead and enabled uh, the media server, the DLNA media server, turned it on. I've given it a name. I'm calling it the DLNA-M server, uh, currently idle. And I have set up this link to the uh, cloud disk storage, and I have set up the link to the media iTunes media storage. Uh, let me go ahead and remove both of these and apply that. And then I'll show you how it was added in there um, initially. So I'm waiting for this to process now. And so now what I need to do in order to set that up is I need to click in this area here, and it brings up my RTN66U interface to that personal cloud. If I expand it and expand the terabyte storage, uh, if I go down to the cloud disk storage and click OK uh, after highlighting it, and then click the plus sign here, it adds that share into the media server directory. And if I want to add the iTunes storage, media storage, I can click, um, let's go back out, let me click here and go back out to the iTunes Media. And here it is, folder, select it and click OK. And then click the plus sign and drop that down as an, an additional uh, share on that media server directory. Let me apply both of these. And so now, after it's been applied on the router, I have both of these shares set up um, so that I can now go to my smart TV um, and access the DLNA server from there and view files, audio, video, and imagery files on either of these two shares. So this has been uh, a video on how to go about setting up a DLNA media server to share multimedia files across a LAN.